In this video, we're going to look at how to use GeoGebra to explore the connection between the edges and surface area of a cube. So we can give students something like this, where there's a table, a cube, they're given an edge and they find the surface area. Now in GeoGebra, if we go to Perspectives, click Spreadsheet and Graphics, here we can either set this up for them or encourage them to do it. We're in the first column, we have the number of edges, let's say. In the second column, we have the surface area. Okay, so we can go one and two and then just click and drag here on the bottom right all the way to ten, right? And here we can, for each of them, find the surface area. Now, the, I mean, how you do this, of course, is up to you. Um, but here there are lots of options. If students see a pattern immediately, they can use that formula to find the values of all of these right here. They might notice that, oh, we took the edges, squared them, and multiplied by that by 6. So to enter in a formula, we could type in equals a2 in this case, right, times, well, itself, times a2, right, and then that times 6. And by clicking this formula down, we can quickly find the surface area of each of these points. Now, if we want to plot this to see what kind of a shape we get, we can select all of them and then right click here, go to create and create a list of points. We'll see the points right here. Now, if the points are scrunched up in a way you don't like, remember on the graphics view, you can right click go down here to graphics and under the basic settings you can change the range of the x values or the y values to fit your graph so there is that option right there now the nice thing is of course if we let's say drag this over we can find ways to encourage students to look at differences so we can look at the first difference and the second difference and we can do this quickly Let's open these up a little bit by again typing in formulas. So here I would type in equals, in this case, b3 minus b2. And it gives me that difference of 18. If I drag this down, it'll give me all of the differences there. I don't do the last one because there's not an available difference right here. So I'll type in not available. Or you know what? I might leave that blank. That might throw me off later. For second difference you type in equals and in this time c3 minus c2. That gives me the difference of this, the second difference it gives me the difference of these two numbers right here. We hit enter and, and then click and drag this down again only up to here because there is no second difference available and students might realize the second difference here is constant. We can then ask questions about this to see if this helps us identify what kind of a quadratic this is. Right? So in other words, we can quickly um, look at um, all kinds of exponential relationships or functions by inquiring, entering the data into a spreadsheet, and then looking at the result on the graph to understand what's happening. And this is just one example. So in the next couple of videos, we'll look at some other ways to expand on this connection right here. Thanks.